Welcome to the Jazz Investigation Series, where every Wednesday, I'm going to walk you through the jazz standards you need to know. If you're just learning how to play jazz, this is going to be vital information. Of course, if you're an experienced pro, this is a way to get you playing to the next level. Now, if you dig the series, throw it a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification because that's going to let you know every time I upload a new video. So let's get swinging with the first one. Up on my list, number 10, There Will Never Be Another You. Man, this is a great, great tune. Now, I picked it because it's harder, and that's a way that we can further enhance our ear training. We really need to start digging deep into tunes in order for our ears to get mature in listening to this great music. Number two, the biggie here is back cycling. That's a key element in harmony when it comes to playing jazz. Of course, really, it's just a strategy of moving from the one chord to the four chord or from the four chord back to the one chord. So we can think of it as an enhanced blues. Why I gave you blues as the first song is this is one that really will get a connection when it comes to playing this music. Number three, here it comes, the dominant. Now this has a new form of dominant, of course, the dominant four and the dominant two. Now we saw the dominant two in A train, but the dominant four is kind of new to us. And that's just another way that we can train our ears, but listen to how harmony moves and how we can develop complex lines within this music. Number four, of course, it has a classic melody. The melody follows that chord structure perfectly, especially the back cycling component of this song. And number five, sometimes overlooked, is the turnaround. The turnaround on this song is somewhat unique, and it has another way in which we can hit a complex or a non-resolving dominant. And this is just a great way to kind of put the cap on a signature song. Now, if you dig this series, don't forget to throw it a like and hit the subscribe button. If you liked this season, don't forget to tune in next season where I go over another set of jazz standards you need to know. I will see you again. Peace. you enjoyed the conclusion of and this really concludes the jazz standard season one and this really in now if you dig this series don't forget to tune in next series where i go over another set of stand where i go over